Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn the method for selecting the proper size of electrical cables. The type of cable you pick depends on a few things. And here are some important things to think about when choosing an electrical cable. Number 1. Voltage rating. You need to know how much electrical voltage the cable can handle without getting damage. Number 2. Current capacity. This tells you how much electrical current the cable can carry without overheating. Number 3. Short circuit value. The short circuit value is important for cable selection because it ensures that the cable can handle the maximum amount of electrical current during short circuit without getting damage. If the short circuit current exceeds the cable capacity, it could lead to dangerous situations such as overheating, fire or equipment damage. So checking the short circuit value helps ensure that the chosen cable is safe and reliable for the specific application. Fourth one, total load. The total load is important when selecting a cable because it determines the amount of electric current. If the cable is too small for the load, it can overheat and cause problem including potential fire. Or if it is too large, if the cable is too large, it can unnecessarily expensive. It's more expensive. Fifth one, length of cable. The length of cable matters for uh, cable selection because it can affect voltage drop. Choosing the right cable size for the length ensure device receive the needed voltage and operate correctly. Sixth one, type of insulation. The outer covering of cable need to protect the wire and can be made from different material like PVC, rubber or others. So we must need to know the type of insulation we are going to lay, we are going to select. Seventh one, environmental condition. You should think about where the cable will be used. Indoor, outdoor, underground, or in a hot or cold place. So the environment can affect the cable performance. So we must need to know the environmental condition of that area. When choosing an electrical cable, you need to think about that these things to make sure it does the job safely and efficiently. So let's see one example, which will make you more clear. In that example, find cable size as per below detail. Their load is 140 kilowatt. Distance is mentioned 180 meter. Demand factor 1. System voltage 415 volt. Power factor 0 0.8. Maximum voltage drop 5%. System short circuit current is 20 kilo ampere. And, and uh, maximum short circuit duration allowed 1 second. So we need all this information while selecting the cable. So according to this information, we are going to select cable. As you know, the formula V equal to root 3 Vi cos phi. Where V is the voltage and I is the current. Power we know that 140 kilowatt. Voltage we have 415 volt. And we have to find out current. So putting all known values in this formula, so after solving this equation, we got 243.46 ampere. This is our current value. After receiving this value of current, we will find out the derating factors. So first we have to find out derating factor. Here ambient temperature at 45 degree C. We can select from catalog, cable catalog. And here we have selected XLP cable rated 90 degree C. And at the 45 degree centigrade the value is 0 0.90 you can see here this value we can select so i will write here 0 0.90 second we have to find out ground temperature at 35 degrees it depends on your location uh, which kind of uh, weather is there so uh, for my uh, location it is 35 degrees so i i just select from cable catalog and uh, for the same cable XLP created cable at 35 degree C it is 1. So I have selected 1. Soil resistivity. Soil resistivity at 150 degree centigrade centimeter per watt. It is uh, 0.91. I taken from catalog. So 0.91. And fourth one depth of layer. It depends on your design how depth you are going to lay that cable. Uh, I am choosing here 80 centimeter for LV cable. Or you can select one meter or it's up to your design. So I'm selecting here 80 centimeter and for 80 centimeter we can collect this value from uh, catalog. 
uh, here you can see 0 0.80 meter and uh, and the cable range must be from 95 up to 240 mm square so i have selected this uh, option 0 0.96 then grouping factor for horizontal laying two numbers of circuit actually for this calculation we need only one cable but i have selected two numbers of circuit why because one circuit is for other uh, utilities it's not belongs to us it's not belongs to our calculation it's for different purpose different use it's going somewhere else so for two numbers of cable we keep uh, spacing between cable to cable is uh, 0 0.3 meter cable to cable distance you can select 0 0.91 this value Otherwise, if you are laying one cable only in the trend, so you no need to go with this uh, option. After getting all these value, we can calculate our net derating factor multiplication of all these values. We can easily find out net derating factor and the total net derating factor is 0 0.71. Once we receive this net derating factor, we can divide with the current value. 243.46 divided by 0 0.71 and is 342.9 ampere this is our continuous current rating as per our condition so after getting this continuous current rating of cable 342.9 ampere from catalog we have to select cable which carrying capacity is more than 342.9 ampere so from catalog we can select uh, cable size uh, I have a catalog here. I can show you. This is a multi-core cable with standard aluminium conductor. We are no, we are installing a copper conductor. This is the one. Multi-core cable with standard copper conductor, XLP insulated, steel wire armored, and PVC sheeted. Yeah, correct. This cable we are going to install. So we have to check the size of the cable. Which, which cable has the current capacity? more than 342.9 ampere there is the option laid direct in ground laid in duct laid in free air here we are going to lay in the ground so we choose this option so in this option we can find out the current rating and you can see here 375 it is more than our current value our current value was uh, 342.9 this 375 ampere it is more than that value so we can go with this current rating of cable that is 185 mm square cable so this is perfect for our calculation we can select four core 185 square mm copper xlp swa pvc armored cable which maximum carrying capacity is 375 ampere now we will calculate voltage drop which affect in cable selection procedure for voltage drop, you know the formula VD equal to I L VD divided by 1000 where I equal to current, L equal to cable length in meter and this VD voltage drop per ampere per meter. This value you can find out in the catalog, cable catalog and divided by 1000. So the current value we already find out previously that is 243.46 ampere length of cable it was mentioned 180 meter and voltage drop per ampere per meter we can find out from the catalog you can see this is the voltage drop for multi-core cable multi-core lv cable and our selected cable is 185 mm square xlp insulation so for xlp cable this option we can select 0 0.241 0 0.241 is uh, our voltage drop per ampere per meter we can select this value here 0.241 now uh, putting all this value in the equation we got uh, 10.56 volt this 10.56 volt is the voltage drop of our cable after voltage drop net voltage we received at uh, endpoint 415 minus 10.56 equal to 404.44 this voltage we receive receiving end so we can find here the voltage drop percentage 10.56 multiplied by 100 divided by 415 2.54 percent this is our voltage drop percentage so it is perfect as per 
our requirement it was mentioned maximum voltage allowable is uh, 5 percent and here we got uh, 2.54 it's less than 5 percent so it is acceptable we can go with this size of cable so initial selection of uh, 4 core 185 square mm copper xl pswa pvc cable is perfect it is okay we can lay but still we have to do one more calculation to finalize this cable final calculation we have to do for fault current with stand for fault current with stand uh, we have a formula a equal to i multiplied by root t divided by k where a equal to area of cable i equal to short circuit current t equal to short circuit duration and k equal to short circuit temperature rise constant usually for copper the value of k is 143 and for aluminium is 94 so as per this value we can calculate this equation so here all value has mentioned except i so we have to find out the i current short circuit current equal to 185 area of the cable multiplied by 143 that is uh, copper cable and uh, root t root t is short circuit duration the short circuit duration is one second only that's why i have mentioned here root one so after solving this equation we got i equal to i equal to 26455 ampere that is 26.45 kilo ampere this is our fault current the selection of cable the short circuit current rating of a cable should be at least as high as uh, the maximum expected short circuit current in electrical system to prevent uh, overheating damage and safety hazards during fault condition and here system short circuit current is 20 kilo ampere and our calculated cable short circuit current is 26.45 kilo ampere it is more than uh, system short circuit current that's mean this is satisfy our criteria it is more than system short circuit current so we can go with the with this size of cable and previously we calculated voltage drop it was 2.54 this is also satisfy our criteria and 185 square mm current capacity is 375 ampere that is more than derating current what we have calculated 342.9 ampere it is it's our derating current so the current capacity is more than this derating current so that is also satisfy this criteria so finally the selection of 185 square mm copper XLP SWA PVC cable is perfect. So we can use this size of cable. Hope you understand the selection method of cable. Thank you very much to watching this video. Please do like and subscribe Rashid Iqbal channel. We'll see you in the next video.